I'm talking to you now, a few days later, with a pain in my shoulder, but no chip. Alaska just has this beautiful way of continuously pulling you back in. Even after you get hurt, or you're afraid, or something happens, you just don't want to do it anymore. And when you take a small breath, you look around, and it just pulls you back in. I've never experienced it anywhere else. Except Alaska. The way that the leaves roll off of the trees, the soft peppering of snow and the termination dust letting us know winter is going to be slowly here. Just the way an alpine glow can hit the right part of the Chugach range and you can just stand there and just observe it until until it softly fades off and you're left with nighttime. And even then, when nighttime actually happens, the auroras come and play through everything. And stopping and just observing Alaska is kind of a sport in its own. When I was asked to do this trip, I wasn't sure if I had the capacity to. Right, I live an office lifestyle where every day the most I see of nature is in between the bus stops and looking out the small window which looks out into the Chugach range and I see the way the clouds play on there and I see the way it's just beautiful. Every day my heart says we should be out there. How about this weekend? Let's go do something. And I just haven't. Um, this trip was the perfect reason to go out and just let Alaska pull me in. It's the best way I can describe it. Early on, I was worried that I might not be good enough for the trike. Not that the modifications to the trike wouldn't be good. Like, they're wonderful modifications. The ability to actually go uphill and to have some power instead of one wheel, we now try to have both wheels pushing and some actual stopping power. When we started, we sended that trike down some trails. And let me tell you, that was fun. It was a confidence booster right at the beginning. And I loved it. To watch it feel like I'm kind of whipping in between trees and knowing that I'm getting grip up this friendly trail it gave me the confidence to know I could do this ride. I was worried for the long distance because at the beginning I was thinking I need to push as hard as possible to try to make it up hills. And this trip I can describe as warmth. The color, the hues, from purple to bright yellows and saturated oranges that just marble the landscape. The same type of autumnal warmth found into my friend's hearts to help guide me around this. It was wonderful. <laughs> Every uphill, uh, the people around me reminding me, you don't have to pedal as hard as you need to. You can just put it into the right gear and just pedal and make sure to save some of your energy so you can go further. And at the top of every hill, I was just letting myself go as fast as I could. Um, eventually, one of the hills, I got overconfident and might have realized that the trike can now go onto two wheels and not make a turn or I can throw it into the into the bushes to the side and uh, hopefully land. Um, to wake up and have everyone around me it's just making sure I'm okay was... Man, the moment it was scary, but I the second I committed right into making sure I landed there, knowing that if I didn't and I let myself go onto two wheels at that speed, I would be part of the pavement. And to let myself be like, no, this is where we go. We land here off the road and hey, whatever happens, this is a decision we made. It became less scary and it became a wonderful experience with people around me. We got to the cabin and the view was just spectacular. It's just, again, that same experience where you just stop and you stare and you look at the landscape marbled and yellow and watch as the birch trees and the cottonwood and the swans of the area just be Alaska and pull you in. It's just beautiful. That's all.